Welcome to My Isle of Wight. We're at Calborn today at New Barn Farm. It's the annual hedge lane contest. Now, you're probably asking what the heck is a hedge lane contest? The annual hedge lane contest is an important part of rural life. It's something if you live in an urban area, you're probably not gonna have the faintest idea what it's about. And that's the point of today's video, really. To introduce you to something that's important for uh, the countryside, something that's uh, showing a shift between winter and spring. It's a lot of detail to it. We're going to chat to the experts and give you the lowdown. We've just caught up with Matthew Chatfield, who's one of the organisers of the event here. And, and Matt's going to give us a run through on, on what it's about, how the competition came about, and really why hedge laying is important. So, Matt, first of all, the competition. It's been how many years? 20 years or so now? This is the 20th competition, yeah. So we, we've had a bit of a revival here, and it's been going for quite a few years. I mean, there were hedge laying competitions in the distant past, but uh, this particular uh, iteration of the competition has been going for about 20 years. So it's, it's quite well established, and it started off with maybe two or three people, and now We've got about 20 pitches being laid here today, so it yeah. really has grown. I've been impressed by how many pitches there are here. So what is it, about 20 today? Yeah, it's about that. I mean, we've had a few more sometimes, but this year we've got quite a lot of individuals, not so many teams. So there's lots more people along who've uh, decided to try their hand, maybe fancy winning a prize. And uh, uh, so, yeah, it's quite a busy site today, which is great. Is that part of it? To, I mean, what's the, what's the reason for the competition and how many areas have competitions? Well, there's, there's a national hedge lane competition and there are regional ones and some counties have them, but not many. So we're quite unusual in that we're quite a small area with its own uh, hedge lane competition that's such a busy one, such a vibrant one. I mean, every year we get loads of people entering. It's quite competitive, so for, you mm. know, we all want to know who's going to win. It's yeah. really, you know, uh, it's, it's not just a, a bit of fun, but there is genuinely a, <clears throat> a competitive element. And with the, the, the point of hedge lane, what, what's the reason to do it? Why is that important for the countryside? It originated as a way to keep a hedge from, uh, keep it stockproof and safe so that you could stop your sheep or cattle from squeezing through the hedge and getting, getting out. So it was an easy way to cut your hedge, get some firewood and stakes out of it maybe, and then leave it in a state that the cattle couldn't squeeze through it. But really it, it's, it's just a traditional way of managing a hedge that looks nice and is good for wildlife. Um, and uh, it is keeping a traditional practice alive. It's a very satisfying thing to do. I, mean, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't laid a hedge for many years, but I did used to do a little bit of it, and it was mm. really enjoyable because it's, you know, you're doing something that's good for wildlife and you know, a bit of heritage and so on, but also, at the end of the day, you've got a really nice thing right, that you've true. made, yeah. and you can stand back and say, yeah, that looks all right. <laughs> it's yeah. true, because it starts off as a sort of a big mess, yeah. and then at the end there is this sort yeah, of all... sign-off point. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's quite, you know, it's that making yeah. something with your hands thing. Yeah. It's a bit of that sort of Easter renewal, isn't it? You, you, you cut it down, it's all dead, mm. and then it magically comes back to light, and it's good for another 20 years. Good, well, we're gonna go and catch up with some of the pros, look at the different classes, and get an understanding of the techniques. So. See if you can spot the winner. Yes, yeah. Well, we're gonna go around with one of the judges, I think. So he should give us a bit of an insight. Oh, well, I'd like to hear what he's got to yeah. say. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Matt, cheers. Okay. Run in the way. <laughs> Environmental chimney. We just had a stop for tea and the most fantastic cakes. <laughs> Delicious coffee cake, carrot cake, fantastic, brilliant value. So that's one interesting thing about today actually. It isn't just about the hedges. It's about a social experience here. It's a very, there's a long line of people here having a chat, having delicious food, and, um, and really enjoying the day on a beautiful day like this. So we're gonna have a word with Alan. He is absolutely, well, one of the best UK people in this field. So he's gonna give us a little overview on, on what it's all about, what he looks for in judging, and really uh, the process. Alan is known around the UK for hedge laying, and you've been doing this sort of thing for years, haven't you? Yes, Is it? Well, yeah. Okay. And I know you're judging today. What are you looking for when, when you're doing the judging? What are, what are the important bits to look for? 
Um, really, the most important thing is it's going to grow grow after we've cut it. So the cutting is probably a brick cutting of the bleaches is probably the most important. Okay. I mean, that's the thing that always look when doing it first off. It feels really brutal because you're sort of cutting through 90% of the of the uh, base, aren't you? Yes. Uh, the other thing is you always look in for the person who's following on in 20 or 30 years. Right. So you want to keep it cut as low as possible. Okay. So that when it sprouts out from the hills, when the regrowth sprouts out from the hills again, it's right down low. So next time it's going to be cut right. low so it keeps it stock proof. Okay. Funnily enough, Dick mentioned that because I think this has been laid before, hasn't it? Yes, it has, yeah. And he was saying that the, it, he, he was having some difficulties early on with it. Mm. Actually, it hasn't been, it's been laid fairly well before, so it's, okay. uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not a bad hedge at all, really. Anyway, but, and we've got Peter here, who is, what is he, current UK champion? He was before. Supreme Champion. Supreme uh, Champion, and he's doing sort of exhibition pieces. This is, yeah, this is, he's doing a demonstration of the South of England style. Okay. Which, what he was Supreme Champion with. Now, the, the, the styles generally, what, what varies? Is it, is it to do with the finish? What's yeah. The, yeah, yeah, it depends on the areas where and um, what stock is being kept in the fields. I mean, uh, the South of England style is mainly a bullock and sheep growing area, so you want it to keep it, stop the sheep getting into the bottom, so you're double brush rather than single brush, and you want a nice strong hedge to stop the bullocks going through it. Okay. Evenness of, evenness of hedge, so you try to, if you've got a, a, a thick patch of hedge and a thin patch of hedge, you try to thin it out so it's even all the way through. Right. Um, the staking and binding, the nice and straight line on the stakes and a clean level binding. Yeah. Um, and that's about it, really. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. What do you? What do you? I mean, I, I'm not trying to get a little early on the on the scores today, but what do you think of the standard today? Is it pretty good? Uh, yeah, it's it's variable from class to class, but yeah, uh, yeah it's uh, they, they they're, they're doing okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good. <laughs> well, look, I appreciate your time. Yeah, that's that's a lot that. Thank you. I'll see you a bit later. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Dick has very kindly offered to give us some of his time. He's in the middle of the competition, so we're going to be sharpish with it. But Thank he's you very a, much. He's a multiple <laughs> award winner for, for the competition here, so we're lucky to get his time. Can you give us an overview of the, the stages that gone through, the sort of four or five stages? Yeah, sure. No problem. Well, what we do is, as you can see, the edge is upright. You can't see that, not in shot. Uh -huh. And what we want to do is lay it down. It's about 30 degrees. Yeah? So what we do is we cut what we call a pleach effectively is cutting through the stem until such times it wants to lay down without breaking off. It's a pretty brutal cut that one isn't it? I mean yes. it's sort of most yes. of the way through. It's most of the way through. Yeah. yeah. But nevertheless if you do it right it will lay down and it will carry on living. Okay. But the actual bush, the, the plant itself thinks it's been cut off so you get a regrowth from the stub as well because it thinks it's been cut off and must regrow. Yeah. So the 30 degree stuff regrows, regrows from the bottom, comes up through what you've laid, makes the makes the hedge nice and thick. Okay. So when you when you've laid it down, yeah. pleach, lay it down. Pleach, lay down. Then stakes after that. Then we have to put stakes in. The reason we put the stakes in is if the wind blows too much, it'll keep rocking it about and eventually these pleaches will break right. off. Right, okay. So we don't want that to happen, so we put stakes in yeah. to, to, to hold it up just while these pleaches heal. The stakes themselves will probably rot away in about five years' time. Okay. When all the regrowths come up to take its place. Right. And then the final touch, just to make it look nice, we put what we call heathering on the top. Where we sort of weave bendy saplings through the top and make it look nice and tidy. And what are the what what design are you going for today? I'm not sure yet. Yeah. We're going okay. to see what the competition's doing. Right. <laughs> okay. I'm do the easiest one unless someone's been clever. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, uh, I really appreciate that time because it, I know it's in the middle of competition. It's my pleasure. Brilliant. Cheers. Thank you, me. gentlemen.
We were Tony Ridd, who's one of the organisers of this whole event. And how many years have you been involved with this? This marathon? is our 14th year now. Okay. Because it, it ran before, but... It ran before. Um, one of the senior officers at the council, the countryside section of the council, used to run it. And then he left. It missed a year. And then we thought we'd pick it up and carry on from there. I, th I think people are interested in the countryside now, aren't they? They're, mm. they're wanting to get out, and there's not a lot that goes on this time of year. People appreciate countryside things. They appreciate trees and hedgerows and understand the importance of maintaining them. So mm. it's good. And we've sampled the fantastic cake yep. and food. <laughs> it's, been, it's very important. That's little bits have been coming in over the years. Well, they have. I mean, when we took it over, it was just a, a, just a hedge in the field. Um, and we felt if the weather's bad, they want a tent to get into. We now have toilets, which we never used to have before. Um, a few displays, letting people know what goes in the countryside. So it's as much to promote people's work. Mm. Um, you know, a lot of people that work in the countryside are promoting themselves here, which is good. It's interesting. So people who've got land themselves, yep. whether it be a garden or a farm, yeah. oh, yes. can come along and look at the the people doing the open definitely a, a lot of work is picked up from here right yeah. so what are the different categories that people can enter into okay well we've got the, the three categories the open section the novice section and the team section and the, the open section is for people that perhaps lay hedges professionally or they, they part of their living is is made from laying hedges the novice section is for people that complete amateurs want to come along and have a go yeah. or have been in the course and want to, to get into it and hopefully they'll get enough confidence in the novice section to move up to the open and then the team section we, we created because there weren't you know we wanted to, to introduce more people to the competition and sometimes it's quite a lot of work as well if you're doing it individually it is and, yeah. and if you do it for the first time mm. uh, you want some confidence if there's two or three of you together it's a lot more fun mm. so we have those three sections uh, which you can win your individual prizes in but there's also a, a, another cup as well using uh, the cup which is best laid hedge using hand tools only right which is quite good so so come along here this actually is quite a simple hedge the professionals will tell you it needs a chainsaw but everyone else mm. is, is doing it without a chainsaw which is quite nice mm. so when people actually win awards for this i mean there are well they get, they get a cup we have some wonderful prizes i don't know if you've seen the prizes not the, yet the prizes are prizes that we you know i, I go out and buy and we donate um, and they're all prizes that we use ourselves the, the professional tools bill, bill hooks um, so, you know, uh, hand saws, fencing mm. tools, clippers, all sorts of things. Mm. So have a look at those because it might might get you back in another year. <laughs> I've got to build on my forearms. <laughs> yes. yeah. Yeah. Brilliant, thanks a lot for okay. that. Cheers. End of the day is coming, the shadows are getting longer and uh, the awards are being given out down below. And uh, there's, a, there's a pretty big crowd here considering it's something you might think is a minority interest. It shows the level of support, lots of people being here during the day. And what was started off as a big bushy hedge now is an attractive, disciplined fence that's going to keep uh, the livestock in. It's something you might not consider doing, but that's all the more reason to come along and do it really, isn't it? It's something that is an important part for the countryside, but also that signalling between winter and the start of spring. So if you get an opportunity, if you're on the Isle of Wight when this is on, come along and have a look. I think you'd enjoy it.